Interior 3D mapping has always been a hot topic in robotics and many advances have been made in the past years. Despite all these recent breakthroughs, mapping entire buildings or floors has always been a rather slow and time-consuming operation. Moreover, obstacles such as closed doors have always made it very difficult for automating this process. We present a new backpack mounted 3D laser scanning system which overcomes drawbacks such as closed doors. The centerpiece of the system is the 3D laser scanner. In addition, the system is also fitted with a 2D laser scanner. Both scanners are connected to a network switch via Ethernet cables and receive power from two 12 volt batteries mounted underneath the backpack. Last but not least, a laptop running ROS communicates with the two laser scanners via the network switch. It is very important to mention that the system is not fitted with an inertial measurement unit. The 3D laser scanner is mounted onto the backpack via a metal plate which is attached to the backpack's frame. The scanner is set to perform alternative sweeps within a particular angular window to avoid facing the backpack, thus avoiding the blind spot. The scanner is connected via special Ethernet cables to the network switch. Everything is powered by the two 12 volt batteries stored underneath the backpack. And the 2D scanner is attached directly to the backpack's metal frame. The two 12 volt batteries provide power to the two laser scanners, which in turn communicate with the laptop via the network switch. At runtime, each laser acquires data. The 2D laser data is fed as input to a Hector Slam ROS node, which publishes a 2D trajectory. The 2D trajectory is recorded into a ROS bag file. The bag file and the RXP files containing the 3D data acquired by the 3D laser scanner are used as input for the back to scans program which uses the given trajectory to register the 3D scans containing the RXP file. The result of the back to scans program is a registered point cloud containing the .3D files and .pose files. In order to improve the quality of the point cloud due to a lack of an IMU, we run a correction algorithm which gives us the final point cloud. The point cloud may now be rendered using any 3D point cloud viewer or further process to obtain, for example, a floor plan of a building. This real-time example depicts a typical usage scenario. On the bottom, we can see real-time results of the Hector Slam ROS mode. 3D data is currently recorded into an RXP file, while 2D trajectory data is recorded into a ROS bag file. One of the main advantages of this system is the fact that an entire floor can be quickly scanned all at once, and various impediments such as closed doors or doorsteps no longer interfere with the scanning operation. After having processed the data using the Back to Scans program, we run the point cloud through a correction algorithm, which divides it into smaller individual point clouds and attempts to align them using the ICP algorithm. In order to achieve better results, we add an extra horizontal plane at approximately the height of the floor to enforce the correction algorithm to align the point cloud with the floor and ceiling, thus eliminating errors induced by the fact that the trajectory provided by the Hexerslam node is only 2D and the system is not equipped with an IMU. The final point cloud depicted here displays very little noise within the horizontal plane. Results from the Hector Slam ROS node are depicted on the bottom of the screen. You can find more details about this project and other similar projects on the automation at Jacob's YouTube channel.